What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another trailer reaction review. Today we're gonna be picking up where we left off yesterday with Rage 2. We seen the announcement trailer yesterday, and then not at the end of the announcement trailer, they said they were gonna have a gameplay reveal today. That's gonna be exactly what we're gonna be watching the game official gameplay trailer. How am I hyped for it? Yeah, after seeing what they dropped yesterday, I really loved the trailer from yesterday, but that was just a full CG, well, real actors, you know, portraying characters in the game, not too much what we're going to be seeing in the game, even though we saw guns and, you know, the boomerang is back and shit like that, and it got me excited, I'm excited to see what Rage 2 is going to look like in this brand new, you know, day and age, with this brand new hardware, with what they're going to take from other games like you know are they gonna do a battle royale style you know with this first person shooter or is it gonna be like wolfenstein straight single player let's kind of fingers crossed that it's a mix of both that we're not just getting a single player campaign that we're not just getting a multiplayer suite that we are getting a mix of both i think that will be a best for something like this especially for a game that i feel that i have really no connection to the story and if it was a just multiplayer suite where we're just killing each other i would be down for that especially in this mad max quote unquote style universe i think that'd be dope let's jump into the trailer let's see what we're actually going to be playing and that is a good size so let's jump in let's hit play let's see it Ooh, getting into action early. Oh, they did one of these trailers for the trailer thing. <laughs> That's cool. Treat it like a movie. Tribes rose up. Oh, uh, you can play baseball with grenades? <laughs> I'm with it. <laughs> territory was conquered. Okay, we're taking over territories. Alive to tell you no. We're taking back territories. Okay. Whoa, sun is huge. You wanted something bad enough? It was yours for the taking. Okay. In a world where there are no rules, insanity rules. <laughs> there we go, the loud music. Avalanche Studios. Okay. We're gonna have a lot of car combat, looks like this time around. Okay, wide open world. Okay, that's why we're gonna have that insane action Big fucking guns. Yeah, we noticed Whoa, is that like a teleport shit that he dropped on the floor? Customizable vehicles that looks dope I'm getting like a superhero vibe with this jumping up in the air and shit. Oh my god. That looked lit. Oh, that's something like using the rage shit. Okay. All right. Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In a, in a day and age where, you know, the mind share for video games comes and goes. Like, if you're going to be a shooter, you have to... Not to say you have to stand out and be AAA, you have to be big budget, you have to, you know, be, you know, battlegrounds and have this 100 man v 100 man thing going on. I'm not saying that, but from what we're seeing here, it just looks like a lot of fun mixed with a lot of chaos, and I guess that's what they're going for. I don't really see any structure about what type of gameplay modes we're going to be seeing. It just looks like it's maybe single player from what I've seen. I, all, everything looks single player or multiplayer, but in a co-op state, not in a state where you're just like in a isolated map and battling each other and stuff like that. And maybe that's not what they're going for. It doesn't look like that. It looks like they're going for that Mad Max takeover territory you know, in an open world, you have a vehicle, deck out your vehicle, grow your people, whatever the case may be. And not to say that it's a bad thing, it just, I feel like we just, every game is like recycled repeat of that. With Especially coming after Far Cry 5, it's just, what's new? These giants, like, 
what's new about Rage 2 that I can't do anywhere else? Like, tell me. Tell me that in the comment section below because that is what this trailer did not tell me. Now, mind you, it did sell me on the world. I am excited to jump into, the, again, this quote-unquote Mad Max world. It's just... I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> it looks like we're, again, taking over territories, getting our the world back, or whatever the case may be. Not too sure. Again, I feel like it's just copy, paste, repeat with what Far Cry 5 um, has recently done. As far as, you know, you, you're in an open world map, take over territory. It's kind of like, what was it, Ghost Recon, Wildlands did. You know, I feel like that same gameplay idea this generation has been done. Like, now you need to do something new. Looking at this gets me excited because it's a new environment and it does look beautiful and the car combat looks insane. But is that enough to make me go, oh, I'm gonna drop $60 to do the same thing again? Now, mind you, you know, that's if you had played Far Cry 5 or, you know, these other games and that, that, that I shouldn't judge, you know, apples and oranges because they probably inherently different. There's probably going to be tons of different stuff that this game is going to offer that the other one does it, vice versa. Trailer wise, this is a trailer reaction review. I do like the trailer. I'm not super in love. I was waiting for like, again, there's yesterday's with that announcement trailer, there was everything was beautiful and you know, well, like it felt like every shot was revealing something that was meaningful to the game. This doesn't feel that. It feels like every shot is exciting, but then we we tend to see stuff that doesn't isn't isn't clear of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not even talking about this stuff. I'm talking about when they're just outright chaos going on shooting. And I feel like that's what this game is gonna be a lot of chaos shooting each other and shooting stuff. But I felt like during a story, not a story trailer, but during a gameplay reveal, you want to show it in a fashion that's more structured. I feel like this wasn't that. Yesterday, the announcement trailer was so structured that I thought that's what we're going to be seeing today. I was wrong. Um, we just see a whole bunch of chaos. Not that it's a bad thing. Uh, this shit looks fun as fuck. And I think that's what they were aiming for. I will have to give this trailer a 3 out of 5. And again, the, the, to me, it was just nothing that... I'm going to go to sleep tonight and not remember shit from this trailer. When I went to sleep yesterday, I woke up thinking, oh shit, I got to do the Rage 2 gameplay trailer reveal, trailer reaction review for it. Because I was so excited after watching the initial announcement trailer. So, I think that's where I'm at for it with, you know, this trailer. Rage 2, again, I'm still on the fence. Need to see more. Hopefully, at E3, we do see more. Let me know what you think of this Rage 2 gameplay reveal trailer in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. Like always, you can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these trailer reaction reviews. The best way to catch them all is with a subscription. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I do a trailer reaction review. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.